a couple of years ago I made a video on this channel if you haven't checked it out make sure to but how to make plastic yarn or plarn I also wanted to show you how to make these pom-poms but the yarn today that I'm going to show you is made without knots so it's a completely different technique you're going to start out the same by making sure your bag is nicely laid out you're going to fold it over and then cutting off the top and the bottom so you just have a tube now, of course I try to use cloth bags reusable bags like most people but inevitably sometimes you forget so <laughs> I do have some bags so anyway cutting off the top and the bottom and then you're going to make sure to open it up all the way so you have a nice tube it can get kind of staticky so that's something to kind of think about but on this you're going to fold it almost in half but you want to make sure to leave I'd say about an inch there where it's just the one layer and I folded up a few times I fold it over like this just so it helps I think keep it consistent kind of uh, make sure those edges are nice and flush and then what you're gonna do is cut through the bulky part but that little lip you do not want to cut through so just carefully cutting through the bottom and trying to keep it pretty even you don't want plarn to be too thin because obviously it's not as durable as yarn which is made of several strands of things so it can break so something to think about but you're gonna go through that whole thing and you see you've got a nice little fringe here and then you are going to kind of unravel it a little, a little bit a few strands at a time along that ridge where it's still connected I grab it undo the fold portions at the bottom and then you're gonna cut on an angle um, I think I get a better shot a little bit later on but the whole way once you make that first snip instead of cutting straight across you're just going to cut at a diagonal making one long strand out of the two now it can be kind of nice to use really big bags just because then it's less that you have to cut if that makes sense little thin ones like newspaper bags um, I like because they give you a good variety of colors and it's not really one that you can avoid if you do get the newspaper but it's a little bit more work so here you see at the very end a little closer and then you've just got one big long strand and I just wrap it around my hand to make a ball and uh, you can see here there's a collection of most of the different colors of bags that I've collected over the years quite a bit so to make the pom-poms I made just this little pom-pom maker some shipping boxes cut it into these C's I made little slits on the one side there and then you can use a handle or the bottom side or string I do recommend string um, you're gonna see here this was the bottom of the bag and it is a little more weak so I'd recommend sticking probably with just the handle because it is kind of thicker fused or some sort of string so you put a little bit on the inside sandwich it and then you just wrap it around I'm gonna show you what a pom-pom looks like with an entire regular size grocery bag obviously smaller grocery bags that's one thing you can make variegated different colors of the plarn and I'm clipping it here and then I have a craft knife and I'm just going to carefully cut between the layers so it will be splitting it in half I've tried a few different ways and uh, I tried it a few different ways and it just seems a little easier to do it like this I don't know I didn't find a more effective way with plastic But I just take my time. This is the kind of thing I do while I'm just watching a movie. Made a whole bunch of these and we'll probably make even yet more. I'll show you a, a little clip of a project that I'm using these on. And obviously when you're looking at bags, some have designs like this as a red, so you'll know that you'll have some of the red pattern in there, not that you'll necessarily be reading it some if you're lucky you can find don't have any writing it's pretty rare because at minimum if they don't have a design they still usually have the little you know safety warning don't let kids play with it kind of thing so depends on what you're looking for so here you are going to very carefully remove the clips 
and it's time to tie that little strand that you sandwiched in between. So try to keep it all in one place. And you're gonna double knot it. And there's our problem. <laughs> so that was too weak. And now the struggle of trying to keep it all in one piece. But I was in a hurry, I didn't want to refilm. And honestly, this this is just how it goes sometimes, right? Sometimes we have failures. So I'm just using one of the handles from the plastic bag. I haven't had that break on me and it kind of hides really well in there. But if you do want to use a string, you can also make it a little bit longer if you want to hang it like an ornament. There you go. Removing it from the form after the first, making sure it's really, really tight. Doing a second knot. Using some scissors to kind of make sure it's all even and fluffing it out. So this is definitely not my best looking pom-pom, but you get the idea from it. So I am using some to decorate my holiday tree this year. This is part of our St. Patrick's Day tree. I've got some already made for um, as we come up into Easter and Fourth of July and all that so you could probably make a garland by stringing them so really fun way to reuse something good for the planet just a fun craft and frankly it's free <laughs> if you do need any supplies like scissors craft knife and that check out my store down below make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time